you have kids, you're going to have weekly commitments. <laughs> yeah, that's Welcome so true. Home, right? <laughs> uh huh. They might be in sports. They might have music lessons. Mm -hmm. They might um, have an art lesson, um, Bible study, church, whatever you want to put in there. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you you know a couple of my kids did speech therapy. One of my granddaughters mm -hmm. has ABA and OT. So right. you would want to write those things in. Mm -hmm in pencil yes yes exactly <laughs> write it in pencil trust me on this one so <laughs> write it in pencil and have it because those are the things that don't change right they're not going to change and so mm -hmm. you you have to kind of plan around some of those and mm -hmm. we'll probably get to this later on also if you find that life is a little overwhelming at certain times, mm -hmm. maybe you have to cut back on some things. Uh, very good. So point. this can uh, give you an idea of what might be flexible. What might be, hey, we're going to have to put this on hold for a couple mm -hmm. months. You know, um, you know, yeah. I, I can't even think. think where, yeah, you know, when we, we just don't know. Right. When we when we see it on paper, sometimes right. it speaks to us because we think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, we can do fit this extra thing in. But once you get to the point where you're writing it every day of the week or right. twice, two days a week and you see how much is happening mm -hmm. in that month, mm -hmm. then then you can kind of reevaluate. Right. So right. It important. helps you put things in perspective, definitely. Mm -hmm. And some of the things that we think are so crucial, especially if you have multiple kids or if your kids have multiple therapy appointments yes um, uh -huh. can you know you have to figure out what actually is a priority mm. and go from there yeah 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 that's that's a yeah and and sometimes things just need to get put put on the back burner and that's why you do it in pencil right, right? yes <laughs> <laughs> always do it in pencil and so the last thing i have on here says try not to over plan mm -hmm. um that's tough y'all i is. know that is it's tough mm -hmm. it is we want to fit so much into our kids. We, we want to have so many enrichment activities and yes. all these other things. Yeah. Yes, but think about how many children do you have? And right. How much time is there in a day? And do you really want to see your husband at some point? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe you want to, um, you know, skip doing something every now and then. Or it's easier to start light and mm. add in. A little bit than to go yeah. all in on things and be committed to, especially if you have multiple children. Yeah, right. I have five kids. So it got to the point with the five kids. I was like, everybody gets one thing. Yeah. I've heard one, many people say thing. that. Yes, exactly. I can't do mm -hmm. sports and music and martial arts. I can't do that mm -hmm. for every kid. Yeah, <laughs> there's only me. You know, <laughs> live in the car. And unfortunately, I do know right. some homeschool moms that do that. They, and they live in the can. Car. You can. can. If, can. if that works for you and that yeah. works for your family, you want to car school, go for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes, to be very honest, sometimes that happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Things do happen, which we'll talk about soon, you know, and sometimes you just have to deal with that. So I would recommend starting small and then adding in as the year goes on, as the month goes on. Mm -hmm.